हेलो चिल्ड्रन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट डिस्पर्जल ऑफ सीड थ्रू विंड वाटर एनिमल एंड थ्रू बर्स्टिंग सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू एम टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ग्रो प्लांट्स विदाउट यूजिंग सीड्स next is reproduction of plants without seeds sometimes new plant can grow from a root a stem or a leaf the growth of plants from different parts other than the seed is known as vegetative reproduction first one is reproduction from stem the stem of rose hibiscus and money plant can be used to grow new plant potatoes ginger and onions are examples of underground stem these can also be used to grow new plants potatoes and ginger have eyes on them if we cut the piece of potato having an eye on it and put this piece in a soil a new potato plant will grow out of it now uh, we have seen experiment with the help of experiment okay so next one is reproduction from roots some roots like those of sweet potato dahlia carrot and radish can give rise to new plant if we cut the top portion of the carrot and plant it in the ground a new plant will grow from it okay so next one is reproduction from the leaves some sometimes new plants can grow from the leaves garden plant bryophyllum is a common example of a plant which produces new plant from its leaves tiny buds grow from the margin of the parent leaf after some time they fall off on the ground and grow it into new plant if it get favorable condition each bud can give rise to new baby plant next is uses of plants tell me uses of plants very good plant provide us shelter second one 
insects and birds and other animal make their home in big and small trees very good people use wood to build their homes many other valuable products including medicine cotton rubber and paper are prepared or make from the plants coal comes from from dead and decay plant matter plant gives us fruits and flowers and vegetables next is biomimicry bio means life and mimicry means to copy thus biomimicry is to copy nature and take the best ideas from the nature and use them to solve our problems the lotus flower repels dust and dirt particles naturally when water fall on the lotus leaf it collects everything on the surface and leaves a clean and healthy leaf behind a german paint company spent 4 years on this research and developed a paint with similar properties the surface of the paint pushes the dust and dirt particles reducing the need to wash the wall next is endemic species there are some species of plants and animals that are found only in the one geographic region these are called as endemic species for example gucci mushrooms are found only in the himalayan region they possess a variety of medicinal properties and are more expensive than gold there are several other endemic species of high importance for example chandan tree in karnataka they are already less in number and thus need to be conserved can you think of ways to conserve these species very good making botanical gardens and making nat- national park or national gardens or making laboratories to save these species